everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression E Cubed, live from the United States. I'm your English coach, Coach Shane. Thanks a lot for watching. Today's sponsor is Perf, www.letsmasterenglish.com. Click on classes, click on Perf, join Perf. I'll tell you about Perf at the end. Today's expression is a great word whatsoever. Whatsoever. I have no time whatsoever. I don't like you whatsoever. No, that's not true. I love you. As a student. And nothing more. Uh, whatsoever is a great word. It emphasizes words like none, any, no one, anyone. It emphasizes none, none at all, any. Anything at all. No one. No one at all. Anyone. Anyone at all. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And once again, uh, at all is the perfect substitution. So, the best way to use this expression is something like, I have nothing at all. I don't have anything. In this case, I have nothing whatsoever. I have nothing whatsoever, whatsoever, what, ever, nothing. I have no money whatsoever, empty your pockets. I have no hair on the top of my head. Well, I have a little hair. But if you were like Bruce Willis or Michael Jordan, you would have no hair on the top of your head whatsoever. My dad has no teeth whatsoever. <laughs> it's true. He has false teeth, dentures, yeah. Whatsoever, it's a great word, check out the dialogue. Is perf helping you? Oh, I have no doubt whatsoever. Hmm, maybe I should join. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask. Great example, uh, once again, I have no doubt whatsoever. No doubt, absolutely zero doubt whatsoever, at all, zero, 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 nothing, zero, no doubt. In other words, I am sure. And then, if you have any questions whatsoever, any questions about anything, about this, that, this, that, this, about perf, if you have any questions whatsoever, just ask. Anything whatsoever. You can have anything on the menu whatsoever. Yeah, it's possible. Usually, whatsoever goes best with no or nothing. Usually. I have nothing whatsoever. I have no hair whatsoever. I have no questions whatsoever. Zero. Absolutely nothing. Using it with no or with none, with a negative word, is the easiest way to use whatsoever. But remember, why do we study E cubed? It's not only to use English. To be honest, using English, if you don't live in the United States, using English every day is difficult. However, hearing English, listening, watching TV, watching YouTube, watching movies, listening to music, that is something you can do every day. And if you listen to a lot of English, or read a lot of English, you will hear whatsoever. Okay? It's a great word. It's sometimes tricky, a little bit difficult to use. Okay? Oh, by the way, I have many DDM students and PERF students in the United States where everybody speaks English, right? But even those people have a hard time speaking English every day. It it's, sounds silly, but it's, it's true. Some, some of them tell me, I speak the most English with you, with me, in my live classes, which is really great, but that's reality. So, yeah, so using English every day, even if you live in America, uh, is not necessarily that easy. So studying E-cubed, you should be studying, you should be watching EQ for two reasons. Number one, to learn an expression. But remember, using the expression is excellent. You need to use it 
in order to memorize it or have it in your head. But using it is difficult. It is difficult. So you should be watching EQ to build your listening knowledge. Now, and I usually say this at the end of every video, what I want you to do is go to Google and search whatsoever. Nothing whatsoever. No one whatsoever. Anyone whatsoever. Any whatsoever. Search these words, okay? See what you find. Don't look at the English study pages. Don't look at those pages. Go to Google News or the web. Just find other places, not the English study websites. It's all boring teacher stuff. Find out how Americans or British people or Australians really use the language. Don't ask me. You Google search it. Go to Google News <laughs> and, and find great examples, okay? So whatsoever is a great word. Let's check out the dialogue three more times. Please find somebody to practice. And let me tell you about PERF. If you're not a member of PERF, you need to join. Check out the dialogues. Is PERF helping you? Oh, I have no doubt whatsoever. Hmm, maybe I should join. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask. Is PERF helping you? Oh, I have no doubt whatsoever. Hmm, maybe I should join. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask. Is PERF helping you? Oh, I have no doubt whatsoever. Hmm, maybe I should join. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask. PERF, P-I-R-F, it's perfect English. I know, the spelling is wrong. P-I-R-F, perfect, hello. No, the P means pronunciation. Standard American pronunciation. The I means intonation. Not just the stress in a word, but the stress in a sentence. The R means rhythm. A long sentence. How do we break the sentence into pieces? How do we do that? Rhythm. And flow. How do we put everything together with emotion, body language, Volume, up, down, speed. How do we put it together and sound like an American? That's what PERF is. And I teach you step by step. Pronunciation, intonation, rhythm, and flow. Every week we have a new lesson. It's a great lesson. It's a challenge. People who are in PERF Live, PERF Original, they send me their recordings and I use some of their recordings in my lesson. I listen to all of them, but I only use a few every week. Sometimes three or four, sometimes eight or nine. It depends on the week. But you get feedback when I use your recordings. Also, if you're a member of Perf Live, we have at least three live classes every week. Every week, you have someone to practice with. We've got Miguel, Clive, and Carrie. Myself, I do a Perf Live class every month. But every week, Miguel, Carrie, and Clive are there for you to help you master your speaking. So Perf is a fantastic class. You basically, I recommend two Perf levels. Perf Open. Perf Open goes all the way back to the beginning. You get the lessons and you study on your own, okay? You can practice with other people, find other PERF members, practice with other people, but it's self-study. Lots of people like that. They like to study on their own, build their confidence. PERF Live is the best. PERF Live, you get the recent lessons every week. I give you a new lesson. Plus, you can send me your recordings. I might use your recording. Also, you get the live classes, three classes every week, and we want to expand. We want four, maybe five live classes every week. So we're working on creating more live classes. Now, if you join PERF 
what is today? Today's Monday. For me, it's Monday. So for you, it's probably Tuesday. If you join Perf today or tomorrow, I'll give you our current lesson for free. Yeah, I'll just give it to you for free and you can enjoy it. I actually upload the lesson videos on Thursday nights and the new assignment on Thursday nights. So right now our students are studying, I think it's Perf 52. I'll give you that for free if you join right now. So uh, yeah, think about it. How to join? www.letsmasterenglish.com and then classes. I don't even know what it says. It's there. Go to our website and find it. I'm such a terrible businessman. Yeah, but anyway, join. Join now. If you join Perf Open, boom, at the, at the uh, beginning of the month, I send out four lessons. So if you join Perf Open, every month I send you four lessons. And I, I tell you how to study. If you join Perf Live, join and I'll give you the, the current lesson right away. By the way, when you join, if you sign up on PayPal, um, I have to do everything and if I'm sleeping or busy or doing something else, I won't see your registration. So it might take me several hours before I realize you have joined. If you're worried, don't worry, send an email and, uh, and as soon as I see it, I'll get you going. Okay? That's it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.